All right, here we are, symbols packet number two. Okay, so we're going to talk about unequal legs. Unless otherwise specified, we're going to use unequal legs. Here's the problem, though. It's not really specific to which leg go has the specific dimension. So whenever we see an unequal leg, it's usually accompanied by a drawing. We have to make sure to tell someone this is how big this should be from here to here and how big it should be from here to here. Okay. So this is pretty simple. They just want you to put the symbol and then put unequal legs like this. You can also put them in parentheses as well with the, the X in it. Okay. So of course it shows us how we need to be able to show one dimension or the other. Okay. So on here, they want you to do a simple for a 3 eighths by half inch on the arrow side and they want you to put the dimensions on the drawing okay so you can either put the half inch or the 3 eighths inch to show what we're looking at or you can even do both if it's important to you just like this okay so we know that the size of the foot weld with unequal legs is on the left side if we look at here right it's showing us Okay, now here's the welding symbol. Here it is. This is what we're going to put. So they want you to do the same thing. Draw the welding symbol and the leg dimensions for the desired weld. So how big is our, our leg dimensions? One quarter by one quarter. This one is one quarter by three eighths. Orthographic views. This is really important to understand, guys. So if you have any questions, Please speak with me, talk with me. Let's talk about this, okay? Orthographic views are how we see a blueprint, okay? So a pictorial view is our 3D view. Sometimes we get a 3D view, sometimes we don't. But 90% of the time, we are going to get a top, a front, and a side view. This is our pictorial view, okay? And this is what we're looking at. So if I were to look straight down on this piece, this is what the top would look like. If I were to look to the front, this is what it would look like. And if I were to look to the look to the side, okay, that's how it would look. Okay, so usually the front can show us a lot of information, but sometimes it doesn't. So we want to make sure that we give as many views as possible. So they want you to just name the view on the underlined. So how would I see this? What would this be? Okay. All right. So, and then we can put a symbol on an orthographic view. Okay. So it makes it even more important for us to understand this. So on all three drawings below, draw the symbol for a 3 16 inch fillet weld on the arrow side. Length. Well, we already know size. Size always goes to the left, whether it's equal or unequal legs. Fillet weld length, how long is it, is always to the right. Here's the thing. If we do not have a length, it is considered continuous. Okay. So for the symbol above showing a weld on the other side, the weld should be how many inches long? All right. So when the fillet weld is to be full length, there is no leg dimension or length dimension, right? So this means it is continuous. All right, so we can also point out specific lengths that they want it to be. So it says from here to here, we'd like some six inches of blank. And then from here to here, which gives me a little symbol in here that says for 24 inches, this is what I would like. So it says complete the drawing for a 23 inch fillet weld on the arrow side starting from 12 inches from the left. All right, we can also change the way a weld is done if we point to different areas. Okay. So draw where the weld should be. Put your symbol in here. All right, hatches. Hatched lines can also show me where a piece of weld should be, or I should say a segment of weld should be okay so it's saying i would like a 5 16 inch size weld fillet weld on the arrow side right here 
I would like a half inch size fillet weld on the arrow side right here. And from here to here is six inches, and from here to here is six inches. Now, they want you to draw in the symbols. Pay attention. One is on the arrow side, and one is on the other side. Intermittent. Guys, you guys are pretty good at this, but let's keep on going. Intermittent means it is not continuous. Okay? These are segments, right? Now, when it is not continuous, it is, you got it, intermittent. Okay, so we, we have length, we know how long it is, and then after that is pitch. Pitch is the center to center distance. Okay, so draw the symbol for a 3 16 inch intermittent fillet weld with 3 inches long and a pitch of 5 on the arrow side. Alright, here's another information that we can get, okay? It's sideways, it shows us more of a 3D view, a pictorial view. Okay, so it's giving us the information here and we're able to understand how it works here. Center to center spacing is called, you got it, pitch. Okay, on the reference line above, draw a, the symbol for a 5 16 inch fillet weld with 6 inch segments and 8 inch pitch on the other side. Okay, so we know that both of these are called a double, but when they're like this, with a length and a pitch on both sides, they are considered chain. They are chained together. Chain intermittent. And they want you to put a chain intermittent weld here. All right. We still have some more chain intermittents. Okay, it's giving you all of that information. They're asking for the type of weld. How long is the leg? the length of segments, and the pitch. Leg length is also size. All right, so intermittent fill, uh, fillet weld, okay? Now, when they are not together and they both have the same information on both sides, they are considered staggered, okay? So they would like a staggered intermittent fillet weld here, okay? And we can see how it works here, okay? So this one says, from here to here is 22 inches. I would like a half inch fillet weld all the way. I would like a half inch fillet weld on the arrow side, two inches long, five inch pitch, right? So this is what it's showing me. All right, same kind of thing, guys. All right, here it is. We can have the same thing or we can have it different. It can show us different ways they specify the information. Okay. All right, intermittent welding, the space between the welds, the pitch, the center to center minus the length gives us what? The space in between. So if I have an eight inch pitch and my segments are five, so eight minus five is three, which means that's the space in between my weld. So they're asking you, to say how much would you leave in between each of these and that's what they're asking for in this question all right so we can mix continuous and intermittent wells it can get a little tricky but it's good okay so we can have continuous or intermittent and it shows us how they would like it so half inch fillet weld eight inches long on the arrow side and then they show us a stagger and then they show us a continuous Okay, so we want to make sure that we use separate symbols for intermittent and continuous welds because it can get confusing. So we want to make sure that if I have a continuous weld here and an intermittent weld here, that we use two separate, two separate uh, symbols and that way it makes it a little bit easier to understand. Okay, all right, so they want you to combine the information. And that's it for today. Take care, guys. Be safe. Stay well.